Hey guys, welcome back to Gamers Creations. Today we're going to be doing another computer build vlog. It's going to be a little bit different from my previous ones. It's a little bit uh, of a different type of computer. The, this computer is called an Ethereum mining rig. If you guys are curious about what Ethereum is, it's a uh, crypto coin built kind of similar to Bitcoin. If you guys don't know what that is, you can ask me in the comments below and I'm more than happy to answer, but that's not really what this video is about. This video is going to be covering the process of building one of these rigs, uh, what's required, the kind of problems that you're going to run into. And hey guys, before we get into the video, as always, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this computer, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Let me know how I did in the comment section. Thumbs up. And enjoy. So, just to kind of jump into it. The, starting from the beginning with this computer, I built computers on the side for other people and this particular computer is again, it's built for somebody else. It's not built for me, it didn't come out of my pocket, anything like that. Uh, they wanted a six graphics card mining rig, which is what you see here. It's actually kind of a funny story though, because originally when he came to me, uh, I didn't take him very seriously, I kind of threw a uh, kind of a fake computer parts list at him that was like really high up there in price and none of the parts were even compatible because I get a lot of people that come to me and ask for $3,000 machines just to waste time. But uh, he basically replied and he's like, alright, I'll order the parts tonight. That was, that would have been a mistake. <laughs> um, I, I let him know, hey, that, that parts list wasn't accurate, it's not going to house six graphics cards, it's, it's not going to be any good. So I talked with him for a little while. Uh, once I realized he was serious, we actually got into the, the building process. I've built a mining rig before, but it was never anything of this level. Um, housing six graphics cards in a regular case is next to impossible, so that's why we're running on an open air case like this. And that's one of the first hurdles that you're going to run into, is trying to find something that can house six graphics cards. If you're after something that's aesthetically pleasing, you're not going to find it. This is pretty much one of the best looking things you're going to find. So from this point, I'm just going to go ahead and show a video of me building this machine. Uh, I'm still probably going to talk through it. I'm going to kind of minimize myself into a corner, I think, and then show the building process. It's, it's pretty interesting. It's not incredibly difficult, but uh, you don't build a computer with six graphics cards in it every day. So I thought it was pretty cool. One of the first hurdles that you run into is obviously trying to fit six graphics cards into any case at all. It's just not going to work. And then once you get that figured out, realize that you have to go with an open air case or a server chassis. The next thing that you have to do is figure out how to get six graphics cards onto a motherboard. There aren't very many motherboards with six 16x PCI slots. And that's what you'll run into. The way we get around this is we're using 1x to 16x risers, which is basically an adapter that takes it from the really small PCI port up to the big one and there's a cord in between so you can get these cards from the motherboard up to the top of the chassis. Another thing that you're going to want to be worried about when it comes to these cards is a lot of risers aren't powered. If you try to run six high powered graphics cards out of six PCI ports on a motherboard, if it's not designed to handle it, it's going to fry it. Another way you can get around this is just to not cheap out and buy powered PCI risers, but if you don't have that option, some motherboards do have additional power ports to handle the extra power required for the graphics cards. When it comes to Ethereum mining, the, the processor is almost irrelevant. So you can run tons of graphics power out of a dual core Intel processor that's old. Uh, in this case, we went with a brand new Intel Celeron, I believe uh, an 1150 or an 1151 socket, uh, about two or three years behind. But that was just the cheapest option with our motherboard combination. Another thing when it comes to RAM, it's again, it's almost not relevant. Uh, eight gigs, 16 gigs. 16 gigs is probably too much, eight gigs is fine. I think with this rig we ended up going with eight. I can't quite remember. Um, I'll put it down in the description, the exact specs. Another thing we're not really gonna be getting extensively into in this video is the software configuration. These computers are very complicated when it comes to software. Uh, it, it is only on the surface a few different commands, but you gotta get them right and you gotta configure your cards to work. Um, but we're going with Ubuntu off of a uh, platter drive, a hard disk drive, 
a lot of people go with SSDs paired with something called an FOS, which is something you purchase, and that's the way I recommend doing it if you ever plan to do this. But like I said, this is not a tutorial. We're not getting really deep into software configs and stuff. But just keep that in mind when you're getting into something like this. The software is a hassle. Just a quick side note. What do you guys think of the new uh, set? <laughs> um, as I've been building more and more computers, I've been accumulating more and more hardware boxes. And instead of throwing them away or recycling them, I decided to just kind of set them up behind me. I feel like it looks kind of cool for tech videos and adds a nice touch. I apologize if this video is a little bit all over the place. I am kind of just like spitting information at the camera in hopes that I'm going to be able to edit it into like something that makes sense. I didn't really plan this video out much. Uh, the This rig itself has been kind of a headache in its own, so I didn't want to break myself by trying to plan out a perfect video as well. Uh, I, I hope it's good enough for you guys, but at the end of the day, we'll see. That's all I can really think of to point out about the computer. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, any concerns, any critiques, anything like that, leave it in the comment section below. I'm very active there. I'm going to go ahead and continue playing whatever is left over of the build process and then maybe some uh, nice computer shots. Thank you so much for watching. If you could please subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, see you in the next one.